Hello, my dear queerance. Welcome to your shadow of judgment. I'm sorry I forgot that yesterday was Friday. It happens, but that's okay, because it was a full moon anyway. I was going to fuck up. It was Friday the 13th. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to use the after tarot deck. And whatever card I want to check on, I'll use my regular right of way. This is just a one-time stick. Usually this game's belongs to Rider Waite, but this is kind of like Rider Waite too. It's just after shit. Which is, the after is really weird, like with the bug. But anyway, let's see what sign we are reading for. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles of the generous variety. Earth signs: Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, and Jupiter. And Jupiter, my bad. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Just don't try to believe in it. It might not happen. You know, just boop your nose and away you go. Right? Great. So let's see. Don't expect to see my ass tonight. I got a lot of y'all to catch up on. Everybody needs attention. Alright. So let's see, Taurus. You got the Four of Swords reverse up here. Along with the Six of Pentacles. You guys have been this week. Oh yeah, this is for... Today's the 14th. The 14th to the 20th, which is next Friday. So. Stay tuned. So that's for this week. It would have been for yesterday, but like, you know, kind of forgot because I was busy with work and everything. Let's see. Taurus. Hmm. Might be busy giving a little bit to somebody who's off running. Hmm. Dude, he's all excited, too. He's just galloping over, like, the freaking sphinx like he's doing tricks and shit. Causing some unrest over here for somebody. In the form of a woman, maybe? Just coming up bugging you like, I got you a flower! That's like the third flower you've gotten me. I got you another flower! Okay. You don't think you bring me flowers. You know I'm allergic, right? Well, these flowers make you smell good. It's like one of those things, right? Well, somebody's giving them, uh... Some fundage and shit. Ah. That tower came down, and then it came down a little bit more, because it wasn't enough. It's like, you are not building anything new on this uh, ground after I've killed everybody on it. Destroyed the entire building, you know. Hmm. It seems like this dude rode in to take some action with this person. But the tower had already, like, been destroyed, and now it's getting zapped again. It's like someone needs, um, a quick reminder, almost. It's just like, do I have to strike the tower again for you to understand that the foundation is faulty? You know, maybe that's why they, there's no rest in between these two. And this person might be going in to see how it is, like, use your transformative powers. However, like, the person with the six of pentacles who's, um... Giving out the fundage, it looks a little dazed and confused. Like, wait, what am I doing, you know? Yeah, someone needs to just release the bird, even though it's dead. You know? Like, it's not gonna fly, because it's dead. Mm. Oh, Taurus. There is a fire sign. <laughs> okay. Alright. So Taurus, dude, this just popped out. Somebody wants to let you to let their guard down and let them in. Just came out of nowhere. You're just looking at him like, where the fuck did you come from? I'm here with you, you know. So Taurus, let's see. Okay, so there's gonna be somebody trying to rest this week, but another person's bothering them, and it's like they don't get that the tower is already struck down, so it has to be struck down again, and then it's like. It's kind of like you gotta release a dead bird. You can't just leave it stinking in your house with temperance reverse. Like, definitely lost patience. Just, like, just get out. And then, like, they just flick the bird out the cup. And then it just flops all over, you know? Like a fish. 
And someone's all mad that that fish is all floppy and dead. And it's just like, who the fuck puts a dead fish in the cup? Not realizing, like, it was probably the page of cups because he dropped the original fish. But that's beside the point. She's just looking at this fish like, what the fuck? Like, is someone threatening me right now? Is that what's going on? Mind you, this person over here, it is. Um, Knight of Wands is running in to all of this shit, right? But he's seen something after the tower strikes again that really puts him in a pissed off mood. Um, makes him wonder why there's a dead fish in the cup in the first place, and if it is an actual threat. And why... I feel like they are feeding into somebody who causes them to linger around. I mean, this person acts like they need the assistance when in reality they're just wasting your and everybody's time, right? Like, there is a giving nature here to a lot of people, but it's almost like... Leaving somebody out of a logical position, like, they want to be kind, they don't want to cut everybody out, but they feel like they need to. But here you are, like, it's still holding your wand up high... When you lead a swan family, right? Alright, let's see. What was this tower, and why is it getting struck down again? Let's see. Um, someone just couldn't get over some bullshit. You know, they tried to be logical in the situation. Make a nice, slow-moving offer. Or decided to cut you out, Tori, so you know you were making a slow-moving offer. Uh, lots of indecisiveness between the two situations, right? Leaving you possibly feeling all upset. It's like this queen um, is upset over here because she cut out a slow-moving offer to give to you because she was too indecisive. And now you're all just a little bit pissy, just like, what the hell? Like, why? Why would you even bother with me? Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Leo, Aries. Like, almost just about everybody. Just about everybody's on the board. Everybody's on the board. So it could be anybody you're dealing with. Uh, Taurus. Let's move on to Virgo. Virgo! If I can get these cards up. That'd be great. Come on. Ah. There we go. Definitely gonna have to, like, glue and set this shit. Because damn. Or just shave it down. One of the two. The lip is just a little bit much. Oh. You might still be on guard with somebody. Like, even though you're they're on your side, you still don't trust them motherfuckers. You know, like, they're uh, the type of person who will scheme in order to look good in their garden. Alright, Virgo, what do we got for you? Mm. God damn, I could take a nap. <laughs> What's up with you, Virgo? You might be packing up your shit, getting ready to leave. Drinking out of your own cup, or you're possibly dealing with a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Someone who knows where to go to refill their cup so they can drink it. Right? Recharge, if you will. Um, there might be some shitty work in between that time. Like, someone's looking over their stuff like, this is not the best shit I've ever produced, but I guess it's gonna have to work. You know, mind you, they got other pentacles up there they could use, but they really don't care. Um, could be a fire sign involved here just sitting in her place. Cat's trying to get her attention because there's a lizard right there, Karanin. Right. Oh, someone's trying to recharge themselves because they got finished dealing with temptation by the devil. Could be Capricorn. Uh, yeah! Yeah, you, 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 there might be somebody not entirely proud of their work, Virgo. How it came out. They don't feel like they got as much as they could have. They're just looking at it like, hmm. Ooh, definitely could be dealing with the fire sign right here. He's got the emperor. He's got a pet goat. He that was who he was waiting for. Not a person. Just his goat to come over. And the goat sits there like bah. You know? Oh, this could be you right here, Virgo. Or it could be Capricorn easily. Somebody who um looks a little bit obsessed with the coinage, you know? Then I got the sun reverse. 
and the page of cups. All right, Virgo. This is like an outside force, right? It's like someone needs to replenish their cups after some temptation with someone who likes shiny stuff. It could be you, or it could have been somebody you dealt with, like a Capricorn. Or it could be a water sign, too. Whichever one you want to pick, but that's like overlaying feature, right? Over here, though, it's like someone wants to pack up their shit. Uh, <coughs> there's a black cat to her side, even though there's a lizard there, and it's kind of like, you know, um... What's up with the cat? You know. Because it's like you already have a pet. Or it's somebody else who already has a pet. <coughs> Either way, she's trying to look good, but the cat's moved to her side instead of her front. Looking curiously at this lizard as if, like, you know. She doesn't know what it is or doesn't recognize him. Maybe the queen doesn't even notice the kitty. Which would be a shame, you know, because cats are fucking awesome. They really are. Like, she's got cats on her damn throne. She better notice the kitty. I'll be so, so upset that she's ignoring the kitty on purpose. But she's probably not. She's trying to sit there, be a kosher ruler, but her black kitty and the lizard are about to throw down. Right? Meanwhile, there's an emperor right here in this energy of just, like, he seems like he's perfectly in control because his fucking... Ram finally came over and laid down in front of him, right? However, there was a flop of the fish. Someone flopped that fish. Um, ended up creating something that really wasn't your cup of tea. And is now, like, looking over that. Just being like, hmm. This is not going to make somebody happy. Like, it's somebody else tugging. And it's just like, what do you mean this is all you're going to give me? You know? <laughs> It's like someone's necessarily upset. I'm not sure what to make of these two. Other than maybe like someone packs up their shit when they're trying to leave. It could be this Queen of Wands leaving the situation and this Emperor just sitting there like, whatever, I got a goat. You know, but someone flopped the fish. Like someone's taking their investment elsewhere. Maybe a black cat came in like, Made things a little bit iffy with this emperor person. Or maybe whispered some nastiness into this queen of wands' ear. Like, it's really up to interpretation whether or not she listened. But the lizard's there, and I think that that's sort of a barrier between the two, right? Because, you know, like, the queen of wands, I think, was the only one in the traditional deck that actually had an animal in it. Other than, uh... What the fuck is it? Uh, Strength's card. So it's like the animal is unusual. It's a supernatural creature. And it's like, if it's a dark force, it's right there. You know. But that's, well... What is up with this Emperor and Queen of Wands, actually? Well, look at that. That's a good point. No victory between the two, or they let an enemy into their house. Lack of communication reaching out. A lot of arrogance, I can feel. Um, when it comes to some sort of clarity of the truth about the devil situation. And a judgment call about it. Mmm. Virgo, I feel like you're moving on from somebody with some games and shit. Just a little bit. Just enough to make it questionable. But that's your Shadow of Judgment for the week. Here we go. Alright, Capricorns. You're up. Stop making, like, Cancers and Pisces cry, please. Thank you very kindly. In advance. Let's see. Ooh, yours came out very nicely. We got the Magician Reverse and the Three of Wands Reverse. Someone might have summoned the demon. <laughs> I'm kidding. I kid. I promise. Um, more like someone like manipulated their magic, but something didn't work out. The way they thought it. Like, the magic worked, but then the items became possessed and tried to murder him. And now it's like there's no more excuses to keep continuing with the situation. 
you know. Like, stop sending the birds for excuses, you know? Like, this is like the card of ending the wait when it's reversed. So, he's sending out a bird like he's trying to send out a message. Who are you sending the message to? It's over. It's done with. Cut it off. Right? I love this deck. It, it, like, I love... I, I love reinterpreting decks. Like, that is just my shtick. Mm, this gets my brain going. Uh, someone might have got caught in a fucking trap for their shit that they did. Now, the wheel is turning on this unfortunate series of, like, almost getting murdered and shit, right? <clears throat> now there's a monkey on somebody's back. Look, there's a monkey on the fucking wheel. Like, someone's got a monkey on the back and the devil up front trying to halt the wheel. And everything's just turning with it, man. Yeah, there's no more excuses to keep trying with the relationship. That's over, you know, like... Cared very deeply for each other, but, like... It's over now. But it's over now! Yeah, it is! Yeah, it is! Seriously, is this like the reading from last night where someone... Did someone give somebody an STD? Like, once again? Like, that that's the second time that that's popped up in my head. That STD shit. Let's see. Someone's walking away with whatever the fuck they want, and they're leaving the rest to rot. And over here, you know, someone's just tired of being fed someone's bullshit. Like, they already got what they wanted. This is just, like, additional baggage now. It's just kind of like, okay, stop overstimulating me or stop giving me shit I really don't want. Oof. Oh, that could be you, Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, listen, right. Over here, this is basically saying the relationship's done. Stop making excuses of thinking about something that you shouldn't even be getting right now to begin with. Right. Kind of like, um... You're full. Get this person, like, wants to keep bringing in, like, more food. And it's just like, I already ate you, little motherfucker. Like, stop bringing me food. And it's not because you're not unhungry, either. It's because you know the little shit's stealing some off the plate every time he brings you something, too. And now you just want to cut that bullshit out, because it's just like, oh, hell no. You are not getting free food on my fucking shift. Fuck off. That is the upper portion. However, over here for the week, um, I feel like someone played some fuck fuck games and now they got a monkey on their back. They took this pentacle that they worked very hard for, or somebody took a pentacle that someone worked very hard for, whatever one they wanted, and left the rest to rot or to harvest. Be like, yeah, I'll just put this much in. Only for possibly you, the Capricorn, to just take it and rub it on your pet and just be like, here, this is for you. I'm, I'm just using this to rub it on your head. I don't give a fuck what this person gave it to me. Like, you're, um, I feel like somebody worked hard to give you something, but it's like, there's a monkey on their back, and it's like, you almost pick it up and just use it for your animals instead. Like, I don't know, almost like to clean it off or some shit. Usually the gang of, blah. King of Pentacles is like somebody who's a moocher, somebody who should be a provider, but they're not. Somebody who should, um... Uh, sometimes he feels like he's owed something, and it's like... If you were owed something, Capricorns, um... You... Think of it as a pet brush at this point. It, it doesn't matter to you. It's like someone finally gathered up enough courage to bring you something and it isn't even to your fucking liking. You kind of rub it in their face, almost. Whether they see it or not, I don't know. But, like, that's what it seems like. And that's mainly because someone got caught up in their traps. Their bullshit. Possibly gave something to somebody else and now they're looking for a fucking friend to confide in. They might even be this bison you're rubbing this fucking pentacle with. Be like, here, this is fucking useless. You can have it. I don't fucking need it. 
So, like, yeah, shit's over and done with this relationship, Capricorns, but someone wants to come in and just, like, feed you some shit, and you're just like, um, I'm kind of done here. I've been done here. I'm out of the fucking restaurant. If I eat something, I'm going to get sober. Do you not notice all the cups that are sitting behind me, damn it? Like, okay, I get it. You know, it's one of those things. Okay, what does this person want to confide in you with? Because I feel like that's why they're over here with you. That they're mentally trapped up in their shit, in their mind, about the separation. How all of their options don't look very good anymore. How they want to try to start again. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. Um... How they wanted to resurrect everything. Oh my god, like, ew. Just ew. Let's see, one more. Alright, a few more. Um, you're my sign anyway, I don't give a shit. Uh, Emperor here, he's kind of looking over at this shit like, ah, that could be you, honestly, given that look where it's just like, are you fucking coming over here being serious? You probably don't end up giving the cup and run away, boner and all, right? Because you already got your wish fulfillment. And that might leave this person just feeling even worse off than they did before. Like, they shouldn't have even approached you, honestly. I feel like... I feel like... Yeah. This is like that magician I always talk about, you know... Uh, he's got a monkey on his back now, and you just, like, harvest what little you can out of eight. You just give him one, and then you rub it on your fucking pet's head to make sure it stinks. You know, just be like, yeah, okay, whatever. I, like, I, I really don't give a fuck about what this is, you know? If not you, then it's the person you're dealing with who's coming up with some horse shit. You recognize that horse shit because you know, and you take it as it is, a pet toy. Knowing that, like, they're coming around for other reasons, you know. So, like, Caps, someone might want to reconcile with you this week. Congrats. Anyway, that's been the weekly read, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't got to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Up to you. But, Earth Signs, I will see you later. Take it easy. Bye bye. Oh, shit.